I've said all year I think we're good shooters after that. We make 14 of our next 19. And it is. It's, it's funny that I have to say it all the time, but I really do believe that. Our defense got better when we started shooting the ball in the basket, too. We started forcing a few more turnovers. Uh, they turned it over in the first half and gave us a little bit of edge. We tried to turn it over in the second half way too much, but uh, made a bunch of threes there. Uh, Garrison, again, five for six, and he only shot one time in the second half. Uh, but I think his defense was good for us as well. Had to congratulate them. They've only got like eight guys. They only had eight guys warm up. It's it's hard to do that over the course of the game. It's fast pace that we like to play. They like to play fast without the bodies, and uh, and it helped us. No no question, it helped us for Robinson and uh, uh, Alexander Walker to get uh, three fouls in the first half. That was part of the big run that we had at the last part of the first half. But uh, I like uh, five guys in double figures. I like uh, 25 assists on 36 baskets. Um, I don't like 10 turnovers in the second half, but I really enjoyed watching uh, uh, the tapes of Buzz's club. I think he's done a fantastic job with short numbers and, 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 and not enough size out there. I was worried to death about the game because I think that they're really, really good. And uh, they showed it the first few minutes, and then we went crazy for a while, and then that, uh, that was it after that. Or Louisville? Somewhere in between, but I hope it's a hell of a lot closer to games like this in Gonzaga. It's where I'm going to have more gray hair, not as many, one of the two. But, uh, you know, see, I, I really don't know. I'd like to be sitting up here and tell you all these things, but um, I asked them to compete today as hard as we possibly could. I talked to them about how hard Virginia Tech was going to play, and that's a compliment to them, and told them that we'd better be able to match that and not expect the home crowd to do it. But, uh, uh, I, I do like it when the ball goes in the basket, and I'd like probably all except two or three shots in the first half. But, you know, if you're, if you're a shooter and you're going to shoot threes, you know what you're supposed to do? Make some up. You know, you start one for 12, you're going to lose for everybody. And so I think they sped us up a little bit with uh, their activity, and we rushed some of those shots in the, early in the first half. But uh, uh, other than that, you know, Kobe's five for 11, uh, Luke's four for five. Sears two for three. You know, he hadn't shot it well in a long time, but uh, I really felt good for him about those two threes. And he took the ball to the basket. And the uh, uh, last three games, he's uh, started feeling a little more comfortable, a little more comfortable. And uh, his defensive grades the last two games have been the de best defensive grades he's had all year. So that might be giving him a little confidence, too. Well, what what are we? Fifteen four, so it's nineteen games. That's that's quite a few, quite a f uh, few of the opportunities to go and play. You shouldn't still be a freshman. Uh, I think uh, that Kobe's done some really good things for us this year. And Asir has been amazing. The last three games. I mean, to ask how many fouls he had tonight, he had zero. Uh, at Miami the other day, he had four and only played fifteen or sixteen minutes. So it helps when he's not in foul trouble. But and Leakey hadn't played as well as I wanted. But how about? First plays in, he doubles down on the post and steals the ball, and we go to the other end. And he's the one that found Kobe on a three during that uh, stretch there. So I think all three of our freshmen are going to be very good players, and I think that they'll continue to get better and better. Well, he's one of their better players. You know, it's it's uh, I, he's one of my favorite players. But I mean, he's a load. He pushes the pace. He distributes the ball. He scores himself. Uh, what did he end up with? 17 points, uh, uh, six assists. Uh, he's three for four from three-point line. I mean, he's a really good player. You take Luke out of our lineup or somebody like that, we're not as good either. But uh, him getting the third foul, and I thought he should have gotten the fourth one on the play that they didn't call the foul, but he's competitive as all get out and tried to block Garrison's shot. I think just getting more comfortable. I've been telling you guys all along that he's coming, he's coming, but it's just some guys, it takes them a while, a little while to get more comfortable than other guys. But uh, uh, the defensive end of the floor is what I'll point to again. His best grades were the last two games, and I would bet he's probably, I know a couple of times tonight he tagged and got back to his man, so I think he'll probably have a better defensive grade this time too. I 
I'd like for him to still score like what he had 27 tonight, and but I'd like him to do it without three turnovers. So he's you're exactly right. He's in that mix. Sometimes you know one of the turnovers right in front of our bench was a silly turnover. The bounce pass he tried to make to Luke in traffic was a silly. So I'd like him to get rid of those turnovers and still he's offensive minded, which I'm not against that. Uh, Kendall Marshall was one of the great point guards I had, and he was past first, second, third, and fourth. Ty, Ty Lawson was one of the great point guards, and he was shoot or pass, and that's why I want Kobe to be. But uh, he has some speed to push the ball, and he still has not pushed it the pace that I think he will eventually push it.